Are we? No, we have one tree stump. Chip, chip, chip. Fine. Good morning. Or whatever time of day it is in your your location. So yeah, here with me is also Bushi. She wants to be have some attention. Yeah, in her Amazon box. Uh, I am Marcel, and this is this is Sean, and we're teaching yoga here. <laughs> Exactly. We're teaching yoga on Twitch and on on Facebook live, and then we also um, upload. Uh, we are uploading it to YouTube. Yeah. So if you like to join me, please please come to a sit. Please sit down either in a in your chair or on the floor. You can sit up on something like maybe a pillow, or or um, some some books maybe. So lift up yourself, even deeply. And then imagine that you are drawn drawn up, draw. By a, by a rope that is attached to your head. So your whole spine gets really, really long. Breathe in deeply. When you breathe in, first breathe into your belly, then breathe into your breast area. You can also put one hand on your belly and the other hand on the breast. And breathe in deeply. Really breathe into your belly first. Then when the belly is full, breathe into your breast. And release again. Release the hands and when you breathe in, bring the hands into the air. Lift your breath together and when you breathe out, lift the hands down and when you breathe in, get longer, extend the hands into the air. Almost like when you direct your breath, like an, in an orchestra, directing your breath, directing the music. Go with your breath, if with your own rhythm. Breathe in deeply in your belly and into your breast. And then let go, place one hand to the right. So place the right hand to the right. <laughs> Stand the left hand into the air. Get longer, longer, longer. Now place the left hand to the left and extend the right. Really get long, breathe in into this length. And let go again and then to the right. The left again. Maybe if you have a cat, you can pet her a little. <laughs> or if you have a dog, then go and say hi to your dog. And change the sides again. Let 
let's go and come back to the mill. Let's bring the shoulder forward and then let's bring the shoulder up. Go slowly here, really slowly. And then the shoulder back and down. And start to circle the shoulders in your own time. If you're normally doing this fast, maybe go a little bit slower. You can go really slow. How slow can you go? Exactly. Still stay really long with your spine. To back and downward, forward, up back and downward and release the shoulder muscles and let's turn the sides let's go back up forward down go as slow as you can So today the topic is I need to cheat again. Uh, this this guy I don't know this guy really, but uh, I will read up on him a little bit more later. This he's called Tichnat Han, and he said we mistake excitement of the mind for happiness so somewhere along the lines of this so yesterday we had the topic of excitement and maybe having some excitement if in your life is all right but then when excitement is the only only part in your life you always want to be excited. Then maybe your life can get out of balance. Just be aware of how much excitement there is in your life. Maybe you need more or maybe you need a little bit less. And release, release the shoulders and let's shift forward into all fours. So maybe there's too much Twitch TV excitement or Facebook excitement or who knows what. And from here, when we are in all fours, we check our alignment so that our shoulders are over the wrists and our hip is over the knees. And we're starting here by arcing from the lower spine, slowly breathing in, breathing up, and slowly breathing out from the head down. Really arcing, making, making like a cat pose. <laughs> and then arcing through again. Coming into cow. Looking forward, breathing in, breathing out, rounding the back. And switching the sides again. Breathing in deeply here and we go up vertebra by vertebra and go down again but vertebra by vertebra breathing out work with your breath go with your own rhythm here
and down. Go a little bit crazy. You can go left and right with your hips. You can go more into the elbows. You can come forward with your body backward. Go to child's pose and side to side. You can do everything that you like here. Try out where are your boundaries, where are your limits, where can you go in this, with this alignment. So the hands stay where they are, the knees stay where they are, the feet stay where they are. Really just go a little bit crazy and find something that feels good for you in this moment. Good job, everybody. Now place your hands a little bit more forward. Place the legs a little bit more back if you like. And shift yourself into, so hips up. Shift the hips up as much as possible, as much as needed. And come into a downward facing dog. And start pulling the heels toward the floor. Kind of walking. Getting strong, go into the muscles in your arms, go into the muscles in your body. So maybe engage, engage the belly a little. Really engage the muscles in the arms muscles in your body and then come forward into plank pose breathe in here one time and breathing out shifting yourself back hips again up breathing in here get longer from the heart to the fingers breathe in again get longer from the heart to the hips Let's go into child's pose, put your knees down, knees coming a little bit to the side, big toes are coming together and shift yourself back, 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 hips to heels, squeeze the head down. And breathe in deeply, stay where I where you are. Maybe if you feel a little bit the stretch, breathe into the stretch. So uh, as I've done a little bit, yeah, as I've done yoga now daily for some time, for this month, I figured out, hey, <laughs> I really, really start loving this child's pose as it gives me a stretch where I don't have to do that much but then again I realized I should maybe engage my muscles a little bit so this is also for you when you're here and you feel a stretch check in with your muscles are they a little bit engaged and everything is good if they're really sloppy if you just let go of all the muscles maybe you want to engage the muscles just a tiny bit in your legs to to also have the muscles protect your inner workings let's let's just say it like this right now and breathe in, breathe out, shift yourself back up, place your hands forward on the mat, okay. and come back to downward facing dog, looking forward, stepping forward slowly, or jumping as you like, and releasing the whole body forward, petting the cat if it's there, <laughs> and releasing the body, wiggling. And 
Breathe in, breathe in deeply. Bring your hands to the hips, elbows pointing upward. Come more into your knees and stand up. Set the hands alongside of your body into the air. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. Close your eyes for a moment and ask yourself, how does your body feel? And release the hands and let's come jump, 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 jump. You don't need to jump high. You can just jump out from the knees. So last time I teach this to a real class, I saw that <laughs> some guys just start start uh, stop to jump after some while and we just want to keep on going. So unless it hurts of course. If it hurts then stop. But um is is there something like boring about this? Is there so you can stand it or maybe yeah, I was kind of like trying to figure it out, but I really couldn't. Maybe they just can't jump anymore after like 30 seconds. Or can you jump more than 30 seconds? I mean, <laughs> it's, it's really a great exercise. Just, just jumping and releasing also your neck if you can. It just relaxes the whole body if you allow it. And it seems super easy and everything, but yeah. It's so helpful, so why, why just not go up for another 30 seconds? your body how does your body feel how do your knees feel how do your shoulders feel how does your ten nine eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come to a stop here. Slowly, maybe still shake a little bit if you like, or jump a little bit if you like, and release it completely now. <coughs> Open your eyes, come a little bit forward. Hey, good morning. How are you, man? Con Co Phillips. So now step a little bit forward and check that you have some place around of your body so you can swing your swing your hands around. This is my favorite exercise, especially for if you sit a lot in front of the computer and work there, or if you play a lot of games. This relaxes your wrists, your shoulders and everything and it's so great. I, I completely fell in love and with this exercise since a long time. So what we want to imagine is our hands are wet towels. And these wet towels, we, we kind of swing around the body. And we do, do this movement from our belly. So our belly moves the hands around and hands slap against our body. We don't want to move the knees that much. We just slap the hands against the body. So thanks for asking how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm really good. I just stood up. It's really early still at my location. I hope you're doing well too. So, and this movement here, our our muscles, there are no muscles um, engaged in the arms. Ow. There 
are no muscles engaged in the arms. We just slap the wrists against the hips. And this. <laughs> yeah. And this relieves, first of all, the wrists. So it gives a massage to the wrists. Then the hips. It gives a massage to the hips. Our shoulders are really engaged. Yeah, not engaged. Um, they just relax too. Some juice is flowing through them. It's really relaxing for my shoulders. And it's really a great exercise for the spine too. So you can either look around with the head like this, left to right, or you can look straight. It's both. And try to make the whole movement come from the belly. And then slowly make the movement slower. Really be mindful here. Slower, slower, slower. You can close your eyes here. And you should still feel some kind of moving left to right. Left to right movement. And by this, you come back into the middle and feel your center here. Breathe in deeply, open your eyes again. Good job. So come into the front of your mat now and we go for one, two sun salutations. And then we get some more fire into our body. And we come then to some breathing exercises if you like them. Um, breathe in deeply, extend the hands into the sky. Breathe out, fall forward. Stretching a little bit your legs here, then breathe in, raise halfway up. Breathe out. So when you raise halfway up, check that your um, back is straight. So maybe you're up here, maybe you're up a little bit lower. Then breathe out, let yourself down, place the hands on the floor, step the left leg back, the right leg back, come into a plank pose and shift the hips up and back. Engage the hands here and check that your whole hand is rooted on the floor. So the whole hand is pressing in the floor. When you do this, you can also bend knees a little if this feels better for you you want to get straighter from the hands to the hips breathe in deeply come forward and either let yourself down from the knees so you can put the knees down if you like or you can go full plank and come down when you come down we go 90 degrees with the elbows so let's go down breathe in first Breathe out, we go 90 degrees down, and then we release the hips down, coming down fully with the, with the uh, body, placing the uh, feet into the floor, really pressing the feet into the floor, pressing the knees into the floor, and then lifting yourself forward and up, engaging also the belly. You can go low here, so you feel a stretch in your lower back. And release that so again. Shift yourself back through the knees up into the downward facing dog. Breathe in here one time. Look forward to your hands and step or jump forward. Breathing in deeply. Release for a moment. Feel the stretch in your legs. You can stretch a little bit more, or if it's too much, you can also go into your knees more. Breathe in deeply, bring the hands into the hips, elbows pointing upward, come more into your knees and stand up. Send the hands into the sky, breathe in deeply, bring the hands in front of your heart. And how does your body feel? Every time we come into this position, you're invited to close the eyes and check in with your body. Release the hands here. Breathe in deeply, extend the hands into the sky. Breathe out, bend forward. We we're doing the same routine again. Breathe in, raise halfway. 
check that your spine is long. Breathe out, bend forward, step the right leg back, the left leg back, shift your hips back, breathe in deeply here. And now come forward and come down in your way. Hips down, pressing the feet down, knees pressing in, belly in and up. So engage the belly and then come forward and up. Think forward and up and release again. Shift yourself back into downward facing dog. Breathe in here. Look forward and either step or jump forward. <coughs> <sighs> bend forward here. You can bend your knees as you like. Next time we breathe in, bring the hands to the hips, elbows upward. Come on to your knees and raise up with a straight back. Bring the hands into the sky. Breathe in deeply. Bring the hands in front of your heart. Close your eyes for a moment. Check in and release the hands. Breathe in deeply, extend the hands again. Bend forward, breathe out. Breathe in, rise halfway. Breathe out, place the hands on the floor, left leg back, right leg back, shift your hips back. Breathe in here, come forward, let yourself down, lift your breath out and release the hips down. Place the feet down, knees down, and shift yourself again, forward and up, engaging the belly. And releasing, coming back to downward facing now. Breathing in deeply. Let's stay here for a moment, breathe in deeply. When you breathe in, get longer from the heart to the fingers. And when you breathe in the next time, get longer from the heart to the hips. Good job, man. So, and then put your knees down for a moment. Knees a little bit more to the side, big toes coming together. And sit back down. So this is called child's pose. Extending the hands in front of your head and relaxing the head to the floor. Breathing in deeply and coming back up. I'm just letting the cat out. So, my cat coming back up, coming to a downward facing dog. So, all fours here, shift your hips up, look forward, breathe in, and you breathe out. Either jump or step forward and fold forward for a moment breathing in breathing out breathe in bring the hands to the hips elbows pointing upward bend your knees more and stand up breathe in deeply extend your hands into the sky and shift the hips back coming into a chair pose so knees or the heels this is the important part knees are over the heels belly is a little bit engaged also hands are engaged when you breathe in get longer here and you breathe out find more space forward and forward fold stand up slowly again extend the hands again into the sky and come again and to sit and bring the hands in front of your heart and bend the bring the twist to the right bring the left arm over the right knee and 
breathe in here, get long. And breathe out, twist a little bit more. So here it's important that your knees, you check up on your knees, that the knees are still parallel. So you don't want to do this. You want to keep your knees parallel. And release here. Come a little forward, bend again. Breathe in here and stand up with a straight back again. Send the hands into there. Shift yourself back into chair, into chair pose again. Breathe in deeply. Bring the hands into the front of your heart. And then twist to the left. Bring the right elbow or the left knee. Placing it there and creating a stable foundation like the stable line from the bottom of the foot to the top of the le left elbow breathing deeply get longer through the spine through the head into the head and you breathe out twist a little bit more release the hands down Place the hands on the floor and come back, step back, right leg back, left leg back, place the legs down a little bit to the side, big toes together, shift yourself back down to a child's pose, hands are extended as much forward as possible, releasing the head down, breathing in deeply. From here, yourself towards the wall. At the wall, we want to put our feet up into the air, creating an inversion. So uh, the blood flow is coming down from our legs into our body. If if this is already enough for you. When you put the legs up like here, that's already really good. Otherwise, we can go into wearing two, placing the elbows next to our body and shifting our hips into the sky, grabbing on, lift the hands on the hips and extending the legs. Good job, everybody. Now here we would just want to breathe deeply and get all our blood oxygenated. And then slowly, slowly come down again, placing the everything on the floor, coming to the side, and releasing your body, feeling the blood flow going into your legs. Maybe you feel kind of a tingly feeling in your legs. And just realizing this. And then when you are ready, come into a Shavasana. This means 
toes are facing outward, our hands are open towards the sky and relax, lay back on the floor and we will just be there for some minutes so close your eyes here I will sit up and I will get you back out of this uh, pose in some minutes And then slowly, slowly start to deepen your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. Come back into your body. Draw the knees up and shift your body to one side. Coming to lie on one side completely. Releasing all the muscles here into the floor. Check in with your tongue. Is your tongue released? Is the tongue still activated with muscles? Are your shoulders released? Are your legs released? Your toes, your belly, your head, your eyes, your, your ears. And release everything and feel the gravity carrying you. And then breathe in deeply, one last time, and shift yourself up into a final sitting pose.
keeping the eyes closed if possible. When you're there, bring the arms to the front of your heart and breathe in one more time deeply. And I wish you a lot of balance of excitement and stillness for you today and in your whole life. Release the hands, open your eyes, and as I said, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye bye.